good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we back in the shop today. So today, what we got going down is, man, we are going to um, get to um, uh, some things on the Elko. We are going to inspect it. We're going to make sure everything is solid with it because um, I want to go out here, cruise, drive, have fun without having to worry about anything, any loose ends. I'm trying to tie up so that they're not. You know what I'm saying? Everything is just all over the place or nothing like that. I'm just really trying to make sure that the Elko is solid, ready to drive, ready to go, ready to rock. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I got to get up under there, tighten the transmission pan, inspect the suspension. Um, the car already has had a, an alignment and it hasn't been touched since then. Um, and the car tracks really straight, like the wheels are very straight, but I just want to make sure everything is, is all solid up under there. Make sure all my powder pans are still you know what I'm saying, locked in, making sure everything is all torqued down. And then also to making sure everything is greased up um, because we are going a little bit further tomorrow. Um, and then also too, um, I wanna make sure everything on the inside of the car is good. I wasn't able to get to my dashboard, but you know what I'm saying? There's just so much work that has to be done around here. It's just, it just is what it is, man. Some things just gotta get on the back burner, but um, yeah. And like I said, man, I just wanna make sure the doors closed, the seat belts work. Um, the interior is mostly together. It's not going to be all the way together because we still need to do some tweaks. But you know what I mean? Like, it has me wondering and thinking, like, why didn't I just start putting this stuff together after I had finished painting it? You know what I mean? Like, I tried to start putting stuff together and I kind of half-assed it instead of really devoting time to, like, actually getting everything together. I don't know why that happened. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I lost motivation or maybe I was just you know, tired after, you know what I'm saying, painting the car and trying to get the interior and everything together. I just was just like, man, forget it. I'll get to it when I get to it. I just want to roll. Um, who knows, you know what I'm saying, what my thought process was behind that, but this stuff is easy to throw together and it makes it look so much better in there. But anyways, man, um, before we jump into the video, go ahead, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I got the Elko flipped around. Um, I got it flipped around because um, I wanted to have the car pointed out of the garage or whatever so that I could lift the car up in the front so I can get up under there and tighten this transmission pin. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if the door striker on this side continues to keep pushing, pushing in, but for whatever reason, when I closed the door, um, you know what I'm saying? Like it will close the first time and then after that, it won't close. So I got to investigate that, keep this door closed or whatever. So I can figure it out completely. Um, and then also too, what I want to do is I want to, um, when I put this headliner in, like, <laughs> like I said, it's, it's a thing that I don't know why, um, why I do this, but I leave things untouched for later. I don't know why I do it. I try to get things done, and then once I get derailed or I move on to something else or I need to get something else taken care of, things hit the back burner. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get better at it. It's a trait. I don't know what's what's going on or why, but you know what I'm saying? This trim back here has been loose for the longest. So when I'm driving, you know what I'm saying? Like the headliner be whatever. It's, it holds in there. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I went and attempted to put the back piece on here and I have these clips. I bought these clips for the back piece. I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's right there. Um, and they didn't necessarily fit. You can kind of see it right there. And so, um, I just went up in here and tried to put it up one time. And, um, when I was putting all the interior together, so this was probably like almost a couple years ago and, I just left it, man, threw the thing in there and was like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Even these side pieces here, um, I had to take out the seat belt piece um, and I always left it loose because I want to replace the seat belt with some black ones. Um, but I, I took this out <coughs> and um, to, in order to put that box in there. So I still got to do that. Um, and then I got to do the other side and the door panels are still like loose. Um, I'm not going to fix all of this by tomorrow, but I do want to put that headliner piece up and maybe these side pieces on the, uh, I guess this would be a B pillar. I don't know, uh, what it would be probably not even a B pillar. I don't know what it would be on the Elko, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to at least get that stuff taken care of, tighten up the transmission pan and then, um, 
just vet the car out. Go get some gas, uh, cruise a little bit. I want to clean all this stuff out, man. Um, I want to clean all this stuff out, get it out of the car so that I'm not driving with stuff rolling around back here because when it does roll around back here um, and it makes noise, I'm like, oh man, what's that? And then I got to remember like, oh, there's stuff in the back moving around, stuff like that. So not that many things that need to be done. Um, I'm also going to spec or tech spec the car, basically look at everything, make sure nothing is out of place since I've driven it um, a few miles uh, and make sure that just basically everything's all good. Um, go ahead and torque the things that need to be torqued and then um, Yeah, man, go ahead and hit the road. We should have a good day. Should be a real solid day. Oh, yeah, I got to uh, Hook up the seatbelt on the driver's side because I don't really feel comfortable wearing a seatbelt I used to not wear a seatbelt. You know what I'm saying? I used to be real big on not wearing a seatbelt and you know My music would just overcome, you know, what I'm saying the, uh, the beeping noise from the, the car because you know the newer cars um they'll beep at you until you put your seatbelt on. So, you know what I'm saying? I used to not wear my seatbelt, you know what I'm saying? Until one of my homies crashed and flipped his car and he flew out of the car, you know what I'm saying? He was all right. Um, luckily, thank God, you know what I'm saying? But uh, after that, it's was like, bro, wear your seatbelt, man. Cause you know, you never know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? No matter how good you think your driving skills are and whatnot, you never know what could happen, you feel me? So. Um, I don't really feel comfortable without a seatbelt. It's not like I'd be going crazy in here or nothing like that. Um, but you never know, like I said. But anyways, man, we got a, a little bit to do, a lot of bit to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not going to take too much time on each little activity, but um, all of it needs to be done before I go to the car cruise tomorrow. Because like I said, I ain't trying to have no problems. And yeah, we're just going to do what it do. With all that said, man, um, now... When I walk over here in this section of the garage, you know, I kind of start getting a little bit of anxiety because it's just a lot of work, incomplete work, you know what I'm saying, that isn't done, you know what I'm saying? So, um, after I'm done with the Elko and getting the things done for the Elko, um, you know, we'll take it out later and drive and do whatever we got to do later. Um, but when the sun comes up and, you know what I'm saying, like neighbors wake up and stuff like that but uh anyways i come to this side of the garage and it just reminds me of incomplete work you know what i'm saying i got my motor over there i got my speaker box over there i got my dashboard right here yes i've been grinding trying to get everything done but like i said you know what i'm saying like it came to a point where this dashboard you know what i'm saying like i wasn't going to finish it in time for the last show and i wanted to get the amplifiers and the speaker box and all that stuff done for the car for the show which obviously didn't happen and it's not going to happen again but that's the reason why this got put on the back burner because i started working on something else and now um i'm like kind of picking up the pieces like i was moving on the dashboard you know what i'm saying i was i knew what i needed to do and every day i was putting hands on it i was you know what i'm saying sanding it down filled back filling in sanding down making sure those fit good making sure everything all cr creases and crevices were you know what i'm saying like they needed to be and now i'm kind of like stuck as to where to start back up on this thing because like obviously you see like i put the body filler and stuff like that and I still got to sand it down. I know that. But like, you know, like my approach, my mind frame around the approach is a little bit different now because I'm not like actively like grinding on it. You know what I mean? Um, also, too, when we talk about um, the stuff in this garage, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just piling up with parts. And I know I'm not the only one that goes through this. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like I like this area to be clean. And as soon as I clean it, more stuff piles up, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, dang, like, I just need to get things done. But like I said, I'm only one man. There's three cars in here that all need attention in some capacity, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's just really, really difficult. Um, and, you know, like, yes, I could get help. And yes, I am going to get help. But like, like, like I said, it's four in the morning right now. There's nobody coming to the crib to help me work on a car right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, or like during the day when, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, you know, whatever. I just need to get something taken care of. And I just run out here and work on something real quick. I'm not calling somebody from, you know what I'm saying, wherever to come help me. Now, like, obviously, if it's planned, like I'm putting a motor in the car or, you know what I'm saying? I need help with some suspension work or whatever it is. 
then cool, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't take two people to work on a dashboard. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just certain things. It doesn't take two people to build a speaker box. Just certain things, you know what I'm saying? I'm not calling people for, but it's things that I need to get done. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, this this area here, I'm completely, you know what I'm saying? They're like, this is just reminds me of incomplete work, which gives me like so much anxiety and I really need to take care of it. So I think my plan of action will be Finish up this dashboard and not deviate until it's finished. Now that like kind of all the car shows like are, you know, kicking off, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to meet or don't need to make every single one. I've been to a few already, which, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm content with, but uh, this dashboard, get it done. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked. Do it. Get it done. We're good. Then I think what I'm going to do, obviously we'll figure out the speaker box because I, I need to be listening to my music, but this area here, uh, I'm going to start putting the motor together. Um, I know I've been saying this for a very long time, but in my mind, it, it's going to be more difficult than it really actually is. It's really not difficult to put a motor together. Um, I just haven't gotten out here to do it. I got everything, all the pieces that I need to do it, but I need to just do it. So um, after I'm done with the dashboard, after I'm done fixing with this speaker box, messing with that, I'm going to start putting this motor together. And then um, I know Dash needs his engine hoist back by uh, the fall because I think he's taking the motor out of the Elko. So what I think I'm going to do is after I build the motor, I'm going to take the motor and transmission out of the Monte Carlo. And I'm going to see if I can sell it and get rid of it, get it out of here, even before I have a transmission and everything that needs to be done for this car. Um, because, uh, shout out to Dash, because he said that, or he uses um wheel dollies and I, I saw how easy it is to use the wheel dollies and he you know what i'm saying moved his monte carlo effortlessly so i think i'm gonna um either borrow his or you know what i'm saying get some um that i don't have to uh, get some so that i don't have to lift up the car or just leave them on the wheel dollies or something like that or get the ones that you step on and it lifts the car up um and just have it like that you know what i mean Take the motor and transmission out. This car was parked over here in the third bay for a reason because we're not really going to be driving it like that. Um, I'm just going to um, snatch everything out of it and then get to painting everything. And then once it's all painted, hopefully by the time it's painted, we'll have all of this done. And then we'll source the transmission, put everything together, and the car should be good to go. Um, at least that's my plan. That's my philosophy. Um, of what I want to try to take care of and I want to accomplish. So we're going to try to do it. We're going to make a real attempt to get it done because, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, first of all, anxiety. Second of all, you know what I'm saying? This, you know, I want this to be done. I want this to be rolling. I want it to be out on the road. Everything is taken care of in this car. The suspension is done. Um, well, obviously the brakes need to be upgraded and stuff like that, but the interior, all I need is the seat covers for the interior. The digital dash is done. The dashboard will, will be done within the next, I want to say probably a week or so. The dashboard will be done. It's already rewired and ready to go. The motor in the car is actually good. It just needs, you know what I'm saying? It probably just needs a new home. Um, transmission, I'm not really sure of, but we're getting a new motor and transmission anyway. Once that's together, man, we're good to go, man. Cold fall in the Monte Carlo, and she out there, you know what I'm saying? So my goal is to complete this car within a year. Um, I got this car in November. It's currently June now. So all I need to do is paint the car, put the motor and transmission in, and we're set, man. Like, there's nothing else that needs to be done. Like, we already stripped everything out of the interior of the car, already dynamited and enameled the floors, did everything that we needed to do, and, you know, like... The trunk is already done. Everything is already done on this car except for the motor transmission and the paint. So it doesn't take too long to paint the car. It didn't take too long to paint this. It didn't take too long to paint this as soon as I got serious about them. You know what I'm saying? Like I painted both of these within a span of six months. Um, I won't say start to finish. I won't say start to finish um, because I was working on this and I got derailed because of the winter time. And then, you know, I was working on this um, just body work type stuff and then i i kind of kicked it to the wayside because um there was a uh a opti issue um or distributor issue i had to replace the distributor and it was running real rough so um but anyways man let me stop rambling i know i'm talking i know this video is going long you know i just wanted to cut you on real quick because 
I haven't cut the camera on in, you know, a while because I was out of town and I just wanted to talk about where I'm currently at and what we got going down. And then, like I said, man, we'll pull the car out a little bit later and then, um, you know, go from there, fix everything up. And then um, hopefully all is good for the show tomorrow. Y'all, so I got the car um, up in the air. Um, I already tightened up the transmission pin um, a little bit. One of the bolts I know for sure was loose, so I tightened that up and got that all done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get under the car and I'm gonna pretty much inspect all of the suspension parts um, that we installed here, making sure everything is good, nothing looks loose. Um, I'm also gonna start torquing stuff down, um, making sure everything is good. And I might even clean it up in here a little bit. I don't know, I gotta see, man. Um, but just making sure nothing is loose, nothing looks out of place so I can roll in peace. Um, making sure the brake lines are good because yeah, as you guys know, all of that stuff is new. The brakes new, uh, the control arms are new, coilover, sway bar, um, the center linkage, all of that stuff is brand new. I just wanna make sure that, you know what I'm saying? Everything, like I said, is in place, it's tight. Nothing is about to come loose. Um, I haven't done this since I put all this stuff on the car, though I haven't driven the car that much. Now that I'm starting to drive it more often this summer, um, I need to make sure that everything is good. You wanna do this on your old schools, man, especially if you built it in your garage, because, you know what I'm saying, there's no tech looking at your car, you are the tech. So you gotta make sure that things aren't out of place so that you can stay on the road. And you know, that's pretty much what we got going down. So let me go ahead and get up under here, start torquing, uh, retorquing the control arms and the uh, shock tower or the shock mount at the bottom, making sure all my cotter pins are good and making sure like my bushings and everything is solid and copacetic. So let me get up under here and do that. And then um, after that, I think we might go ahead and have us a little cold start. But uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick and then uh, I'll throw y'all back on. All right, y'all, I've been kind of cleaning the back of this out. Um, because when I when I go anywhere tomorrow, um, today maybe, maybe I'll do tomorrow. I'm trying to think of when I'm gonna take this stuff out, man. Um, I don't want nothing back here, like I said. And then I think what I'm, I might throw these in the trash. I was gonna keep them. Um, they're the, like the bars that go from the frame, uh, the middle part of the frame to the outer part of the frame on the front of the G bodies, but um, QA1's sway bar has a brace that eliminates those. And then, so for those, I thought about selling them. Those are uh, the springs out of the Monte Carlo, stock springs. Um, but I'm really not, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Do I really wanna go through the house or selling those for like 50 bucks? I don't really know. Um, I might just give them to somebody or they might end up in one of these dumpsters. So, um, but anyways, like I said, I'm trying to declutter. I'm trying to make sure everything is all good. Um, I kind of messed up this door panel. Um, I kind of messed it up. Like you can see it's detaching from right there. So I probably got to rivet it back. Um, and then also too, um, I got it like, I got the, um, what's it called? The plastic piece that goes into the door. Um, I got those on there. I went ahead and threw the corner pieces on. I threw that back piece up. Um, I kind of scratched up my, my stuff right there. So. I gotta repaint it at some point, but the headliner is not falling no more. Um, so I'm just trying to clean up everything, man, making this car as presentable as possible so that, you know, when I get in it, there's not things falling on my head. I'm trying to wonder, you know what I'm saying, what noise is coming from where, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to have it all the way together so that we could ride, you know? Last time I drove it, the tires were kind of low on air, so they have air in them now. I don't really know how the car is gonna necessarily drive because I haven't really driven it that far. Um, since I put air in it, I probably just drove it around the corner or whatever. And then also too, um, I put some grease in the uh, inner tie rods. So uh, the steering input felt a lot better. Um, like I said, I haven't been too far. I just drove around the corner and that's pretty much it, man. I think this is pretty much ready to go. Like I said, I'm bummed about the subs not being in there, but it is what it is, man. We'll get it one day soon. Um, and yeah, the last thing I gotta do is just clean up the car. I kinda uh, looked at everything, made sure everything was all good, so everything looks good. Um, so I mean, the only way to tell if something is 
not right is if we drive it. So tomorrow we'll see what she do. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We have no hiccups. We have a good time. Oh, the last thing I got to do is uh, hook up the seatbelt. So I got to find a seatbelt bolt um, so I could put it in there. But other than that, man, we're good. We're Kofo, ready to go. I'm not rushing for, you know what I'm saying, this show or nothing like that. And yeah, that's just what it is. y'all enjoyed it um like i said i was just trying to get the elco together and i was just talking about you know what i'm saying some of the things that needed to be taken care of uh just to let y'all update keep y'all updated and let y'all know where i'm at man um a lot of things happen uh a lot of things happen beyond the or behind the scenes some things i just be trying to take care of you know what i'm saying i don't always want to throw on the camera or nothing like that you know what i'm saying i just want to do it take care of it get it, whatever um, and I've done a lot of that, so I kind of just wanted to let y'all know kind of where we're at with everything. Um, I am going to start putting hands on this dashboard um, so I can get that done, modify this box, get that in the car. And then once all that little stuff is done, we can continue to keep moving forward. And I think what I want to do next is just start breaking the Monte Carlo down, trying to get it... Uh, <sighs> I, I want to say I want to break it all the way down, like take the motor, transmission, everything out, just bare shell so I could work like I need to work um, because this car definitely is not going to be out this summer, um, probably not even until next year, you know what I'm saying? So just take my time, make sure everything is perfect, make sure everything is good, everything is new, everything is just 100% cold foe. Um, but other than that, man, um, main priority, obviously, is the Elko because we actually roll in this. So anyways, man, um, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, always remember, work hard so you can live free.